Hello and welcome to this second episode on Emacs uh, for beginners. Um, this episode I'm going to go through a few things, try and go through them a bit quicker. Um, first one is re redo. I told you in the last video how to do undo, how to undo things. Uh, if you haven't already looked it up, which you probably have, I'm going to show you how I redo uh, when I've done, done an undo. Um, there's also I'm also going to quickly tell you about using the toolbar as a help system, if you've still got the toolbar showing. And then I'm going to quickly go through frames, windows, and buffers. Um, so let's get on with it. Um, so if I just create a new buffer called test, and I'll type some things here and here. Oh, look, I'm on a new line. Um, so as we know, to undo, you control slash, and that can get rid of everything. Uh, and then the way that I redo is you basically need to I don't know what the technical term is, but you basically need to kind of reset the undo. And I always do it by Control F, and it says end of buffer. I don't know. I don't actually know what Control F does. Uh, and then once you've Control F, if you pr basically click undo again, it will redo the things that you've done. And actually, let's have a look. What is Control F? Forward character. Cool. There we go. So that's re redo after undo. That's that's how I do it. I never really have that many issues with it. It it, it works for me. Um, so another thing I just wanted to quickly go through is using the toolbar as as help. So you can see um, if you go to the toolbar, you actually have all of these uh, all of the options available, and it actually tells you, you know, um, what the key command is. Where C capital C is is control and capital M is meta. So go to line, buffer position, you know, all of these things are very useful. Find definition, you know, there's a, a lot of things built in. Um, I think you can also, I've never really used this, but yeah, you can show hide battery status. Yeah, you can do a lot of things. Um, list all buffers, select name buffer, previous bu buffer, you can use the forward and back if you have that. So I think on my mouse I have forward and back. Does that work? No, they're not working. I think it must be just on the keyboard. Um, so yeah, you can use this for help. So you know, if you want to, uh, yeah, like open, visit a new file, open a directory, uh, insert file, save as, all of these things, quit. They're all there as well. So another another useful thing. Um, so frames. We'll just go through those quickly. Frames, windows, and buffers. Uh, so Emacs uses different terminology for the things that you may, or for the terminology that you may use in, in other programs and applications. So in Emacs, a frame is this whole thing. Um, it's the container, basically. Um, most other software calls them windows. It's the thing that you can move around. It's the thing with the toolbars in it. Um, and that's basically the frame. This is this is one frame. You can have multiple frames, and you can share buffers between those frames and windows between those frames and all those things. But just most of the time, I only work with one frame. I, I don't really use frames that much. A window. So this is a window uh, that the text is in now, or a view. So if I if I do go to help, oops, help. Uh, I now have two windows. So I have a left window and a right window. Um, and you can split windows yourself. So obviously clicking, um, opening help, opening help um, bring splits the window uh, automatically. And it, it's put it to the side here. But you can also um, manipulate windows yourself. Um, and buffers, so buffers are the both the, the most bizarre but also the most powerful feature of Emacs. So buffers are the document. It's So this is currently a buffer, so it's, it's a document whether on disk or not. Um, you can have an infinite number of, well probably not infinite depending on your hardware, but technically an infinite number of buffers open within Emacs. And they can be files on disk. Uh, they can be files in memory. Uh, they can be ELISP programs, um, such as 
like the uh, terminal emul terminal uh, emulator uh, or a shell or uh, if you you know read your email in Emacs that is that will also be in a buffer so they're kind of windows to different parts of either your operating system or your memory or you know they're just different windows windows but it's not a window it's a buffer they're different views I guess um, and I kind of think of them like programs or apps running. Uh, you know, sometimes they're visible. Like right now, there is we have this this buffer visible. But if I list buffers, you can see actually I've got one, two, three, four, five buffers uh, actually open and running. And these the uh, the genuine Emacs scratch messages and help are all running in the background. Um, so yeah so they're, they're buffers um and buffers are the thing that you you work with the most uh they have modes in them as well which i will i'll go over another time in another video because modes are confusing um so let's start with how to man manipulate buffers i kind of went through it in the last episode you can create a buffer by just typing uh typing a name and then it creates a buffer with that name. You can save the buffer. Oh, no change to be saved. Test. You can save the buffer and you can say, okay, that's where I want to put it. Um, what else can you do? You can kill a buffer. So I don't, I don't actually want that buffer anymore. So yes, kill it. Uh, you can open a buffer. So, um, so, uh, and then I don't actually, let's just go here. Have I still got my test.py? I do. So you can open a buffer and you can switch to buffer as well. So buffers, we've kind of already covered them. Um, windows is where it gets a bit more interesting. So you can create a new window horizontally by control X number three. Uh, and then whichever window, whichever buffer or whichever window yes, whichever window your cursor is active in. So currently it's active in the left-hand window. Uh, if you either create a new horizontal window or vertical window, horizontal, horizontal, it'll open it horizontally and it, you'll see that it's taken up the space of half of the window that, uh, that the cursor was in. So then I'm still in the leftmost uh, window there. So if I if I do control X two, it'll create a vertical window. Uh, and you can see that in all of these, I'm, I'm looking at the same buffer. So I can also just change this buffer to be my test.python file, test.python, test.py file. Um, I can save that. Uh, and then I can, um, I can delete windows. So if I wanted to delete this window now, because I, I don't need it, I don't need four windows, I can control X zero, we'll delete that specific window. If I want to go to the far most right window, I can click control X O, control X O. So that control X O basically cycles through all your open windows and it just goes round in a circle. Um, and, I, and actually I want this window, I don't want any other window. So I can do control X one, which is delete all other windows. Um, so then you just get one window. And that's essentially the only way that I use windows. Um, just splitting them, cycling through, deleting them, just going to single ones. Easy. Um, in the same vein, you have frames. Um, so the frames actually work very much the same way as windows. Uh, the only difference is rather than doing control X, um, one, two, three, and zero, you do control X five, and then you can do two. Two is only available. It doesn't make a difference. There isn't a two or a three to go horizontally or vertically. You just do two and it'll open another, open another, uh, another window, um, another frame. Sorry. Even I uh, like I've been doing it for a year and I get mixed up with the names. Um, I think it's going to take a long time to get used to it. So a new frame, control X five two, uh, to delete the frame, control X. Well, I'll just open up two, another one, control. So to delete a frame, same as before, well, same as a window, but you 
prefix the number with a 5. So Control x 5 um, 0 to delete that window. To cycle through, Control x 5 0. Control x 5 0 to cycle through. Control x no, just go back to that one. And then to delete other frames, Control x 5 1. Easy. Um, I think that's probably about it. That's all I need to go through right now. Uh, I'll probably miss some other stuff off as, again, uh, but I'll try and remember to add it to the beginning of the next video like I did with Redo. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.